Hi guys, this is Gamer Spawn, and today I come back with a new gameplay of Ghost Recon Wildland gameplay walkthrough part 29. So keep watching my video and leave a like, comment, and share, and click the subscribe button. Engage. This is Nomad. We've taken out the money truck and El Boquita is KIA. Outstanding. The beauty queen is royally fucked. We'll see if she makes a run for it or tries to beg Swingo's forgiveness. Either way, she's gonna expose herself. And when she does, we go get her. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Nydia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, baby. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. Nomad, I've just got word. Thanks to us, the Beauty Queen smuggling operation is such a clusterfuck that she's a dead girl walking. Sueño sent a hit team to kill Nydia and her daughter Valeria. Got a location on the Beauty Queen? She's holed up at her hacienda with her daughter. We got this chick right where we want her. Get her and Valeria out of danger. She'll give us everything she knows. We're on our way. Nomad out. Got some hostile activity. Hear that explosion? It's got our friend spooked. Uh. Drone is airborne. Uh -huh. Tango Mark, shit. Sueño's people are hitting the hacienda now. Let's move. Target marked. We poked the hornet's nest. What's with the alarm? the word, boss. Assholes know we're here. Stay quiet. I got eyes on Nydia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuidenla! Valeria! Get on that helicopter! Mama! No! You wanna kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is gonna lay a hand on my daughter. We don't wanna hurt you or your daughter. We want Sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Hold it there. Like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up to Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. This is a commendation? Looks like it came from a box of cereal at the Air Force or something. I'll fly. Sueño sent people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. No 
utterly destroy all of it. My life's work, everything I had. Well, not everything. There's a weapons case over here, coming up on the RP. Compass, getting Nidia's voice. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever, See that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me sueño? I will give you eternal life. trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained lay there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything, and she paid me back by running like a coward, instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces. Deploying drone. Bad guys are marked, tango. waiting on you, boss. Parking at Tango. He's close to that local. Target acquired. Moving to position. Got the target. Ready to engage. Lost my target. Got it. We got a Sicario. Outside the ICM. This is the place. Let's take this low and slow. If the cartel realizes we're here, the first thing they'll do is kill our Yayo. Copy that. Hear me out, por favor. I understand how long it usually takes to harvest. Vamanos, we're taking you someplace safe. I cannot leave. If El Sueño's men see that I'm gone, the cartel will kill my family. I got a Sicario over here, inside the Hacienda. I'll drive. I'm in. Let's roll. Where exactly? 
exactly are you taking me? There's someone who wants to ask you some questions about your activities with the cartel. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. But only once my family is safe. You understand? If not, you may as well take me back where you found me. You still haven't told me who you are. I have heard rumors about the phantasmas who are making buildings burn. Making things disappear. Making people disappear. I thought they were just... RP's just ahead. Nobody get comfortable. I get the feeling we'll be heading right back out again. I should have known. CIA has brought in our own Sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family. Then I decide if I will talk. Yayo's family is in the cartel district of a village called Baya Floresta. We gotta move fast. Sueño finds he's gone, that family's dead. on Baya Floresta. Yayo's wife and son are supposed to be somewhere in the village. Keep your eyes open. Tango down. Standing by for go order. Good to go. I'm opening fire on these shit. Oh. Target's marked. Good to go. I've got the target. Target acquired. Target lost. Look. Target is down. Eyes on the target. 
I don't have a shot. Fucking hell. Target down. What's going on out there? My guest is getting antsy. You find Yayo's family? We're working on it. Understood. Just hurry, okay? It's gonna be damned ironic if the dude has a coronary waiting for his wife and son. Roger that. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Heads up, I got eyes on Yayo's wife and son. Pero Dios mío, won't you see Carlos leave us alone? Take it easy, we're the good guys. Don't touch me. Calm down, Chewy. Your father sent us. You expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever the fuck you want as long as you shut up and follow instructions. Now, follow me. Both packages secure. Let's get them back to their old man. Oh, I could use this. Go on, I'll be right with you. This is the old man's fault, isn't it? He's too greedy and too proud. A man cannot be both. Cállate, mijo. Ruri does his best for his family, for the cocaleros. How do we even know he's with you? How do we know he's safe? That you aren't using us to get to him? Just like esos charros, esos mexicanos. I never said we weren't using you, but you are safe with us, and El Yayo is safe. I have seen la DEA and CIA do too much evil to my people. Do not expect me to trust you, Kuru gringos, Kumara. Rodolfo. Mirosita, estás bien? Sí, mi vida. Papa. What trouble had you gotten us into now, old man? We just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes, blanquiñosos yankees, only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. I'll eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend either. Tranquilo, mijo. I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family to ensure that my people, Los Cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. Bowman, get what you want? Ain't nobody happy about it, but yeah, looks that way. Fucking ingrates. They know we saved their lives, right? All I know is the cartel's gonna have a hell of a time making cocaine without El Yayo. The rest is over my pay grade. I heard that. You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia out of work with no means to support their families. All they could do was wait 
wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. He's his story. In the firing post. Engaging tangos. money the cartel would make a nicer metal. Christ, you smell that? Tango down. 
got something in there. Checking it out. We're clear over here. Unless Sandoval had Selena tattooed on his neck, this ain't him. This ain't our guy. Closed container up ahead. Watch my six. Got you. Thank you for watching my video. If Got you him. like my video, so leave a like, share, and comment. And subscribe this channel.